Hey there, gang. I have both the Schaefer's Sigil 266 and the Stoner's Bug and Tar Remover on the shelf at the shop. I'm going to put them head to head today for a little bit of fun, keep track. Before we get started, though, I just want to let you know you can't go wrong with either one. That's why I have both. Every uh, case is different. Every job that comes in is a little bit different. I may grab one one day, one the other. So let's get started. Okay, this subject here is full of tar spots parked under a pine tree. So we have plenty of spots we can give the chemicals a, a good test. We'll give them a run on two areas. Now, of course, it's going to be impossible to find two spots that are exactly the same, but there is a spot right over here on the passenger side of the hood where we have two spots nearly side by side, one thicker than the other. So we're going to put the stoner on the thinner spot. We'll give the citral a workout and spray it on the thicker spot of pine sap. Let it dwell for a couple seconds and we'll come in and wipe them off. This is the spot we sprayed stoner on. This is the thicker spot with Citral 266. Obviously, it took a little bit longer to remove the thicker spot, but they, they both did their job. They have the panel over on this side of the hood looking good. Now, an important thing to do using both of these products is to thoroughly flush the area immediately after using the product. This is the one and only time I'll show you this during the testing. So do yourself and the clear coat a favor and remember to do that every time. All right, so just out of fairness, we have two more spots on the hood that we're going to test on, and then we'll move on. Again, we're going to put the stoner on the smaller, thinner spot, and we'll put the Citral 266 on the larger spot and give it a workout. All right, we let the stoner dwell for a couple minutes. Now we're going to get in there and remove that pine sap. Okay, now back over to the Citral 266. There are no two exact spots the same, but working with the product for the sap test, I can tell you personally that both these products are a wash when it comes to that. They both work pretty much the same, but it's a case by case scenario on that one. Let's move on to adhesive. All right, we removed a sticker from the bumper here. We're going to simply put a piece of masking tape right down the middle, apply stoner to the left, Citral to the right. Let it dwell for a minute or two. Come in, wipe it off, and we'll see if one product did better than the other.
this result is rather obvious. Okay, so when it comes to adhesives, I can tell you on a professional level, it doesn't matter what case you'll come upon, the Schaefer's will definitely have the upper hand on that one. Let's move on to overspray. This vehicle has black overspray absolutely everywhere. We're just going to take a small section of the hood here. We'll divide it in half. We'll add a product to either side and see if one works better than the other. A nice generous layer of the citral here, and the other side will be the stoner. After letting it dwell for a few seconds, this is the citral side. The one thing about citral that kind of gives it a little bit of the upper hand when it comes to overspray, I am confident I can use it on just about everything, the clear coat, trim, rubber, plastic, chrome, as long as you flush it immediately after. The stoner wants you to absolutely stay away from trim. Okay, now when it comes to overspray, again, I get a ton of overspray jobs. So I can confidently tell you that Schaefer's is going to be a little bit better in just, just about every case. So let's move on to tar. This vehicle right here will be a great test because there seems to be the same amount of tar on the bottom right behind the front wheels on both sides. The Citral 266 will be applied to the bottom half of the passenger side. And the Terminator to the driver side. The citral is absolutely no problem whatsoever removing tar. Even though you may see a little bit of tar running down the panel, it's going to be quite a different story on this side. Using the Citral 266 to finish up on this side will tell you everything you need to know.
Okay guys, when it comes to tar, we had a ton of cars come in because of all the road work. It was road work season this summer, especially in my area. I could tell you they both attack tar a little bit differently. When you spray the stoners directly onto the tar, you'll see the outer layer of the tar start breaking down, running down the panel. Gives you a little bit of uh, false security that you'd be able to quickly remove that. That's not the case. You might have to go back two or three times to get all of it. When it comes to the citral, you can spray it on and you won't see it running down the panel, but it will quickly penetrate deep into that little spot of tar. And you can wipe it away rather quickly and move on and get the job done quicker. So a slight edge in this category will go to the citral 266. So we're gonna move on to the last category and that is bugs. Okay, so the front of this caddy was the last stop for some of our little winged friends. So we're gonna use the citral on the left side. We'll use the stoners on the right and see which one breaks down and removes the bug guts and the remnants of insect splatter quicker. Except for two spots that need to be wet sanded to be removed completely, the citral did a great job. As for this side where the Tarminator was applied, I'm not quite satisfied, so I'll just quickly follow up to get the job done with the 266, and that'll tell you everything you need to know about that. When it comes to bugs, guys, that season just ended for me. It's autumn, fall now here. The bugs are, are winding down, but I had a ton of cars come in with that problem as well. When it comes to bugs, you can spray citral right onto a microfiber towel and wipe them off from there. And there seems to be no problem at all with the, the chemical handling bugs. When it comes to stoner, sometimes I find myself spraying directly onto the panel, directly onto the bumper, mirrors, or whatever surface I'm trying to, to treat and clean up. And I'll have to let it sit and dwell for a couple minutes. And then it will remove it. So I'll give the slight edge again to the citral. Now these are all slight differences here. Both chemicals are great. I stock them both. I use them both. As I said in the beginning, every case is different. One day I'll reach for one. One day I'll reach for the other. I recommend having both in your arsenal. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.